Hi guys, Dr. Ken Starr with The Wellness Group here in Rio Grande. We are experts on addiction medicine, where we're always trying to provide useful, real content regarding substance abuse treatment and medication-assisted treatment. This episode brought to you by Dutch Brothers. Okay, I wanna talk a minute about starting Sublocade. What is Sublocade? Sublocade is that once a month shot of buprenorphine. There's reasons to do it, there's reasons to not do it, that's a different conversation. Say you've decided to get your first shot of Sublocade. This is something you wanna do that you've talked to your provider about. Here's what you need to know. That first shot of Sublocade doesn't work well. Why? It peaked, you get that first shot. This is a subcutaneous shot in your abdominal wall, right? It peaks at 24 hours, it starts to go down. That first week, you're okay. But the second, third, and fourth week, you are below a therapeutic level. It's not till you get your second shot that you start to kind of maintain. And it's not until your third or fourth shot that you have a steady state. So, well, that's a problem, right? So how do you deal with this? Because we had patients come after the first shot saying, this doesn't really work that well. It's not lasting four weeks. And I thought, well, it's just you. But it turns out, after looking at the science, they're right. It doesn't work that well the first week, excuse me, the first month. And I'm gonna show you a graph and explain why. But looking at this graph, you can see that, boom, you get your first shot, which is 300 milligrams. It peaks at 24 uh, hours, up to about four nanograms per mil. And then it goes below the green line, which is two nanograms per mil, and it stays there for the second, third, and fourth week until you get your second shot. It's not until the second shot that you now you have a steady state above two nanograms per mil. Well, what's magical about two nanograms per mil? That's the number that has been shown that you need above that level in your, in your blood to not have cravings, to not have withdrawal, and to decrease what's called opiate-liking behavior, okay? So if you're below two, this is not a very, and for most people, it's not very helpful. Above two, it's helpful. So that's kind of the magic number that the buprenorphine scientists decided that's where we need to be, okay? So if you're gonna get your first dose of Sublocade, talk to your provider and say, hey, how are we gonna be prepared for this not working that well that first month? One, I would try to have extra product available if there's a way, if you can have extra strips or tablets or whatever you're using available that first four weeks. If they're not comfortable with that, they're not sure, show them the literature, say, hey, look, here, this is the buprenorphine literature, this is Sublocade literature, it doesn't work the first month. Um, that's a little bit tricky with insurance because once you filled the shot, they may not pay for that, that written prescription. So usually like a month before, we'll double the prescription, they have an extra month, and then they have that extra support if they need it. Okay, so the highlights are, if you've done, you decide you want Sublocade, realize that this first dose, this first month, you're gonna get this every four weeks, this first shot does not work well be prepared for that it starts to work well after the second shot again if you have questions concerns send them over happy to answer your questions i think there's a lot of good things about sublocade we've seen a lot of success with it we'll probably be putting out more videos on sublocade because there's some really great things coming out especially about how to taper off suboxone using sublocade that's phenomenal um, stay tuned thanks for watching please like please share please subscribe